Hi everybody, we're going to do a book review. We're going to talk about this, the Watch Annual 2020. So the Watch Annual 2020, it's been put together by Justin Hast and James Allen, and uh, it's a compendium of all the watches that were released in 2020. Um, it's not, you know, comprehensive, but it does cover a lot of the really interesting models that were released. And uh, these are all photographs done by members of the watch collecting community. Um, so that's kind of what's charming about this. You know, this is a book that is by the community for the community. And it shows, like the approach of the watch photography varies hugely. You know, you have wrist shots, you have static shots, you have some really creative background and foreground treatments. Um, you have stuff that's been done on a huge variety of equipment as well. Um, it's really, really fun to see. And in fact, it's kind of inspiring. And then, you know, interspersed between the images themselves, there's also some really interesting little um, articles, well, not articles, I guess little essays um, by people who run watch brands. Uh, in fact, this one by Mr. Nicholas Bowman Scargill, who runs Fears, um, was also quite inspiring. You know, he, it's been a tough year for their company, and he uh, took a part-time job to keep his watch brand going. You know, I think that that's really such a powerful, beautiful thing. It just goes to show how much the man loves his work and loves his company. I really admire that. Um, and, you know, on the topic of just this book being so inspiring, uh, given that a lot of people are stuck at home and they're sometimes a little bit bored, uh, if you have never tried watch photography, it's worth a try. It's not hard. I mean, I have a couple of my images in there and I'm just a rank amateur. Um, if you... Hodinkee just put out a great article talking about like watch photography and how to set up the scene, how to set up the lights. Um, and you know, you, you can start with just a cell phone, you know, start with just a cell phone and start to think about how the image needs to be composed and how the light needs to come in in order to give you a good result. Um, if you want to spend a little bit of money on it, uh, you know, all you need is a tripod and you need a half decent camera body. Um, if you're going to look, use a macro lens, I really recommend this one. I think this is one of the best and actually one of the best value ones out there right now too. This is the Sigma 70 millimeter 2.8. Um, so a lot of like my more serious watch images I would do with this thing. Um, but honestly, like I even use my little Ricoh GR point and shoot for some of my watch talking and I really like the results. Uh, I think all that really matters at the end of the day is just like, can you evoke some sort of emotion out of the watch photograph, you know? Um, in fact, I had a friend at one of the big watch brands who was saying that like the big watch brands just couldn't quite get photography that was like as engaging and as evocative as when like an amateur did it. And it's true because like the amateur just, if you're bothering to sit down with your watches and take these like very loving portraits of your watches, you have a certain enthusiasm for the thing that um, people, you know, that a professional might no longer have, you know? And uh, so that is, that is a huge advantage. Like if you love watches and you want to try something new, take up watch photography, all right? That's my little project for you for the next however many weeks while we sit through lockdowns. Okay, um, so the Watch Annual 2020, uh, we have it in our stores. Um, you can also get it from their website. Uh, it's published in the UK, and what's cool is it's actually numbered as well, which is a nice little touch. Um, it also supports a nice cause. Uh, they donate part of the profits to a charity that supports medical workers who have been helping us get through this COVID crisis. Uh, so there we go. Watch Annual 2020. Check it out. Thanks for watching.